What's up, slimes? It's your boy, Trey, from the mail room. I don't have my, uh, my other webcam here today. My, my face cam. Uh, because Streamlabs OBS updated. I think it did this before the last unboxing, too, because I don't believe I had one for that one. Um, it updated, and now I can't run two webcams at the same time. And I spent 45 minutes trying to figure out if I could, and the answer is no. Um, and, you know, this is, this sucks. It's annoying. Uh, I am going to try and finally pivot over to using regular OBS Studio before I, I come back to do more streams. Uh, so, you know, we'll deal with this one last time. Hey, I got some stuff to open. I got some, uh, I got a Pokemon tin. I got a Pokemon tin. I got a Pokemon tin. I got a Digimon box. I got a... I got a Digimon box. I got a Pokemon box. There you go. That's what we're going to open. We're, it's all in this one stream, all in one video. You know, normally I would break these up. I would be like, okay, this video is going to be the three Pokemon tins. Then we're going to do a video of the Digimon boxes. Then I'll put this in my closet for three weeks until I find something to open it with. Uh, anyway, I opened that GameStop Crown Zenith box that cost like $45 and I got literally no pulls from it. Uh, and the one comment was like, hey, it's cringe how you say cringe all the time. And that really got me thinking, um, like, why am I trying? Why do I give a shit? <laughs> why? <laughs> Uh, very few people watch these if it's not Godzilla, and I respect that. Uh, and the Pokemon community just cries about everything, so why try? Why, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna have a fun time. We're just gonna sit back, we're gonna open some cards, and we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna do the Digimon boxes first. Um, because I want to scoot, I don't want to mix them with the Pokemon cards, because that'll be a nightmare for me to sort. So there's less Digimon, I can open them, scoop them all up. And then start opening 80 packs of Pokemon cards. It's not actually that many, but it's a solid amount. Did I, did I ever show the Godzilla magnet I got for my birthday? It wasn't, it wasn't birthday. It was Mothman with a convention. I don't know if I showed this or not. Anyway, here's the Godzilla magnet. I think I did show this before, but I gotta show it now so I can put Godzilla in the tags and people will show up. We're gonna open it. This is not... These are not my Digimon card sleeves. I actually don't know where I keep my Digimon card sleeves. Is it down here? It doesn't look like it. No, this looks like an entire drawer of Pokemon card sleeves, actually. I found, like, three Digimon card sleeves. I found some Beelzemon sleeves. Yeah, I guess we'll just use Beelzemon sleeves I found, because I have them. Where did all of my Digimon sleeves go, bro? Cringe, cringe. You know it's cringe? Saying cringe all the time. Cringe Lord. Yeah, man, $45 with no pools is actually cringe, though. Anyway, we got... Oh, I gotta do the, the webcam thing. It's been months since I did this, so I always forget that I have to, like, manually go in here and go to properties and go to configure video, and then it opens a small screen on my second monitor that I have to crane my head to find, and then I find it, and then I say, okay, camera control, we're going to turn autofocus off, and we're going to crank this SOB to, like, 50. And you're going to you're gonna get fuzzy vision, but then when I put the stuff close, you can see it a lot better. Except for the part where it is very bright and reflects. Anyway, I got some Digimon Adventure boxes. These have Resurgence booster packs in them, which is the reprint set. Uh, I did not buy a box of RB1 because I was broke when it came out. Just as... Uh, this weekend is, what is it, EX5? No, it's BT14 pre-release, and I'm broke, so I can't get a box. But these are cheaper to get. I bought these because I want the little figures, and I want the, the promos. So you get with this, you get a lovely little little butt plug figure here with these. Uh, I think there's like five or six different figures you can get. Uh, both of these are Tyrannomon. Because uh, the sh my store had like almost nothing but Tyrannomon. I think the only one that had a different figure. Like, so I bought like the black one when I found it. I could only afford one, so I grabbed this one that I'm about to open. And I, because I wanted the black memory boost all tart and I wanted the little Tyrannomon figure. Get him go. When I went back a few weeks later, all of this stuff, by the way, has been sitting in my closet for at least two weeks at the, at the shortest time. Uh,. 
So I get the, uh, oh, it actually stands very nicely. You can't see this, but you can see that it stands up. That's so lovely. Um, when I went back, the only one that didn't have a Tyrannomon figure in it was still a black memory boost. And I figured I'd rather get a different memory boost, uh, and get the same Tyrannomon figure because Thorin loves Tyrannomon. So he can just have the Tyrannomon figure. I don't know if he got one on his own, but there you go. We got, these come with lovely Altart memory boosts. These are very beautiful cards. Black Memory Boost is very good. Finally, a way to get Memory Boosts. That isn't annoying as hell. Just kidding. It still kind of is. We'll put that off to the side. Alright, Resurgence. It's got Reprint Set. It's got Ghost Game Spoilers. That's all there is to it. It's, it's mostly Reprints and Ghost Game Spoilers. So, buckle up. Get ready. I don't know what, what Pogger things are in this set. I didn't keep up with Resurgence Booster at all because I knew I wasn't going to be able to afford any of it. Eh. It's, you can tell it's been a while since I've gone to open Digimon cards. I'm over here struggling with it. Oh, wait. This is the this is the crazy set, right? Where everything's a hollow? I forgot they got wacky with this. Hollow Upamon? Hollow Demi Marimon? See, normally both those cards were like six bucks. Holy Flame, I remember when this was an instant win card. See, it's all, we're going reprint crazy. These could all be valueless as far as I know, because they're so they're you're like they're so mass printed now in the reprint set. Look at that! Look at that crazy Gammon. That's an Agumon. Ah, oh, Pog. That's cool. I, this card used to be um, eighty dollars. I think I paid sixty for it. Okay, we got All Force Vidramon. He looks textured. He, he might be. It's hard to tell. This is a super rare. Oh, okay. That's just a straight up super rare from BT2. I can't tell if this is like a good pool or not. <laughs> like, is it is it easy or hard to get? Like, is this is it like oh pog? Is every I don't remember what their gimmick with Resurgence Booster was. For all I know, every single pack has a, a super rare in it. All Force is cool. That's like a fine guy. I have one from BT2, so it's not like I like needed it, but it's cool. It's a nice looking card. I feel like it's if, if there's a super rare in this one, I feel like it's safe to assume they all have a super rare at the end. Hollow Jack Raids and Eat. Shout out to Demi V. Shout out to Limited Hidden Potential Discovered Ruined Green Decks Forever. Jelly, we got Gamma Mon. As you can tell, this whole set was meant to ruin the market, which I think is based in Pog Pilled. Oh, promo Demi Mara, that's sick. I might actually need him. Purple member, you can just get the memory boost. Okay, never mind. Now it actually is easy to get these without doing it. Every pack has a different gimmick. Yeah, this one was the purple memory boost and Demi Mara promo pack. I actually have to put him to the side. I'll look through these later. I mean, I'll put the purple mem boost to the side because that's like a relevant card. I actually may have needed this. So here's the thing. I just care about the card artwork in my collection. I don't care if it's like hollow or, oh, this is the original print of the card or whatever. Because I'm never going to get some of that. Some of that stuff is going to be literally impossible for me to get. So if I can just get the different artworks, I'm happy with that collection-wise. And I don't think I had that Demi Mara promo. I might have, but it's hard to tell. We've got a Goonie Man. Demi Devimon. Coromon. I, dude, I was big-brained. Um, I sold... All of the Coromon, this Coromon, from my Shine Greymon deck for six bucks a piece when they announced that he was part of the reprint set. Um, I have no idea what this guy is worth now. He's probably worth nothing because they also limited Marcus. <laughs> so, uh, that's Pog. That That's easily available now. A lot of, it's, listen, promo Palmon. That's not promo Palmon, but it's good. It's good that a lot of these promos and, like, annoying to get old cards are easy to get now. It does mean when I eventually open some BT... I think that's an Altar coming. Here's Promo Palmon, by the way, which is extra Pog. It is... It is... It does mean when I eventually open the three packs of 1.0 that I plan on doing on stream, most of it will be valueless, and that's okay. Oh, we got... I think this... Yeah, this is Altart Serious Mon. Okay, this is actually a new card. We got Altart Serious Mon. That's pretty sick. That's pretty cool beans. I love getting an Altart from one of these random wacky boxes. Because they just make so few of them. 
he do be serious. And then I open up the cards. All right, final pack for Black Memory Boost box. This has been a good box. Aw, oh, Pog, Chumon, aw, oh, Pog. Cockatus Breath, Kaiser Nail, Pro, that's S Starter Deck, Greymon, that everyone's in it. I love Puyo Yomon. Pog, Monzeomon, Pog, I need Monzeomons. I want to make a Monzeomon deck. I barely get to play anymore, but I want Cooler Beans. Don't worry, Cooler Beans are coming. Oh, uh, here's Omnimon Zwart. Absolute, look at that. Is that like a fragment? What's that called? Uh, is it is it fragmentation? Fractured-tation? Fractured hollow? I don't even, I don't think this is what he normally looked like. That's pretty sick, actually. That I think this is Cooler Beans. I'm not, I'm, like, I'm not looking up what any of these are worth. I just think these are really cool. Everybody's here. That's, I actually think this is beautiful. That's that's a gorgeous uh, hollow on that. Yeah, we're not looking up what anything costs unless I pull something that looks insane. Like, Sirius Altar could be worth 40 bucks. It could be worth, like, two. So, I'm just, I'm just pulling things and saying, hey, this looks pog today. Shout out to... Girl Pris with the Monzaeum on art, whatever that anime is called. What the hell are you talking about? What are you what are you what are you talking about <laughs> with the months? I love Tokomon in the back. I have no idea what anime you're referring to, to be honest. I think you've lost your mind. You're out here being weeaboo pilled. Uh, we're not going to worry about the figure on this one. It's just Tyranimon again. We've already seen it. It's the same guy. Give that to Thorn or something. Thorn has it. I'll take it to the card shop one day. I haven't been in months, but maybe one day I'll get to go back and I'll be like, anyone with this Tyranimon? We got Yellow Mimboost. Um, this is the horny card. You got the titties. You got the... Who's that? Is that just, that's just a priest. She kind of got her titties out. And then this looks like, I don't actually know what this Digimon is. It looks like if Cherubimon was a, a human being. The anime I watched in October. What the hell? Oh, 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 Glipnir. Okay, shout out. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Shout out to Glipnir with the with the Monzaemon art. I get it. I get it. You know what? Good joke. I was just thrown off by not knowing the name. Don't watch Glipnir, everyone. This is your certified unrecommendation of Glipnir sucks it was cooking for a bit and then it fell apart and then I read what happened in the manga and everyone was like yeah it got worse in the manga <laughs> all right let's get it Palmon cool Sala Upa Siako a delicate plant it's either playing the Digimon card game in the Digimon card game I need always need more toy Agumons since I make so many black decks He's a good card. Hero. Oh my. Okay, so this card can't be that good. But it is still pretty sick. He's still a cool beans guy. Do I have like a regular card sleeve I can jam him in? Not one of my fancy ones. I do. Swoop. There you go. Put him off to the side. Watch me say that, like, oh, I pulled a second one of him, so he can't be that good, and then I immediately get another alt art serious mon. And then I gotta go, hmm. Oh, limited. Oh, limited. This guy's broken. He's too good. They had to limit him to one. Oh, limited. Broken. They had to limit him to one. <laughs> we reprinted all the limited to one cards. All right. Weezing Gammon. Well, who's Lady Debbie? Who's it gonna be? Where Gururu? That's a promo, actually. Magna and Jamon. Dude, shout out to when this was like a ten plus dollar card, and then it got limited and it plummeted. Uh, we got a nice, lovely Magna Angemon here. Oh, they do. They all have like the little fancy hollows on them. Look at that. That's nice. I remember when Ag Magna Angemon. Never mind. I was say I remember when Magna Angemon was getting played by everyone. Dude, it still is. People don't play as much security control, but when you do. You're hard slapping that Magna Angemon down. He's also probably going to get played more because yellow security control recovery deck. 
in BT 14 or 15 is cracked as hell. And they just made Ultimate Cups and new cards only, so that deck's about to be the only thing that gets played. Pog! Numamon Pog! I need them! I need Numamons. Oh, the dog's freaking out. Oh, Hukuda Monokawa! I don't know who that is. Vidramon Zero. Craniumon Pog! I like Craniumon. He's alright. Yeah, man, uh, this set seems great. This this set seems great for people who still get to play the game. I won't lie, I'm a little salty. I haven't been able to go out and play ever since uh, everyone moved away. But it's whatever. I have the money for it anyway. I miss it. But maybe one day. Maybe one day. It's, it is hard for me to get invested in this set considering I can't really play the game. But it does seem like a great set for people who are able to play. It seems like it's really easy to get a lot of staple cards. They did a good job. Oh my god. Oh, this is going straight in the creepy mon deck, brother. You already know. Fancy Lilith Mon with the with the fractals? Absolutely. It is it does feel like it's mostly BT1 and 2 cards, which I guess is what needs to be reprinted the most. Anyway, that was fun. Those were that was more fun packs to open. I missed the initial hype of RB1 because, like I said, I never bought a box. So, there's nothing that I was like, oh, I gotta get this or blah, blah, blah. I got some Monzeamon and Numamon stuff, which I'm definitely gonna need to make the Shin Monzeamon deck that I really want to make. So, that's cool that I got that stuff. And I'm sure there's other stuff in here that's good for me to get, too. And maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe RB1 is cracked as hell uh, and all of these cards are worth $3 a piece. And I'm sure that's not true. I'm just being funny. And that's okay. That's all right. And you know what? I don't have to cut the video. We can just jump into the next thing. This gamer's choice. We're going to do the Crown Zenith Tins next. We're going to save the 151 box for last. I have all three Galarian Birds. Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. Dealer, or not dealers, because I'm the dealer. Chat choice. Which one are we opening first? You cannot see them at all. We've got Galarian Articuno. We've got Galarian Moltres. And we've got Galarian Zapatos. They made him run fast because he's Spanish for shoes. Right. Okay, I'm going to assume that means this one. I'll scoop these bad boys up. I'm not really a fan of the Galarian birds. Um, I think I think I need a box cutter also is what I think. Um, I think of the three, Galarian Zapdos is probably my favorite. Is, is, Uh-oh. Have I lost my box cutter? Uh oh, it's a dark day. Never mind, I found it. I had to dig through the drawer a little for it. This is the deeper cutting one, right? Oh, it sure is. Okay. Um, do not do what I was just about to do, which was cut towards me. Uh, I think Galarian Zapdos is probably my favorite of the three Galarian birds. I'm not really too big on any of them. But Crown Zenith is a great set. Like I said, the GameStop box is the only Crown Zenith product I've bought so far that has been cringe. So I'm looking forward to opening these these big boy tins. I got the the tins super duper cheap, by the way, because Game Nerds did their like fall madness sale. So I think I got all three tins for like fifty five bucks total, which is insane. We'll use our crowns in this sleeves. Pop the trash down there. Dude, I cannot wait to have to clean all of this crap up. It's going to be so fun. There's my crown. I was like, where are my crown zenith sleeves? Uh, it's him. He's, he's doing Roadrunner style, zooping after the Doge Rios. Very lovely. Thoughts? Any got got any thoughts on Roadrunner versus Wily e. Coyote getting scrapped? Y'all got any thoughts about that? I don't. I think it's very funny that studios can just be like, we think this movie is bad, so we will like to in, instead of releasing it, admit that we think it's a bad and take thirty million from the government. I think that's funny that you can do that. I think that's a real silly goofster. 
I think this is six packs. This is five packs per tin. Fifteen packs are crowns. You know, pretty foggy. We're actually gonna do the smart thing, and we're gonna use the Galarian Zapdos tin to contain all of my uh, my my rando cards that I don't put off to the side. Slide our code card over there. Oh Christ! I think it's one to the front for Crown Zenith. I'm super wrong. I don't know what it is. Let's assume I don't do anything. What if I don't change anything? Let's remember. Bam. 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 Okay, reverse hollow is nothing here. Bog! I don't even know. I might have this already, but that's okay. I just love Kyogre and Kyogre V is cool. Okay, so energy is one, two, three, four. Four. It's four to the front to get the V in the back. All right. I understand now. I guess it's Scarlet and Violet where you only have the energy in the back to move, if anything. Anyway, Kyogre. I think I have that Kyogre, but that's okay. That's like a great omen to start with. Is a, is a V, regardless of if I have it or not. Get that code card out of there. I am just in time for real, for real. Yeah, you missed the Digimon, but you got here just in time for Pokemon, which I know is what you care about. All right. We got the Wawa energy. We got the Diggin' Duo. Minus the fact I have an Air Force ad. He didn't hear anything. Why is this the Pokemon Quest Ultra Wall? Sungfern. This is your official statement. Do not join the military. There you go. Oh, Leon. Signed by Leon. Oh, my... Wait, hold up. This tin's cracked, actually. Friends in Hishui. That's pretty sick. Dude, character full arts are poggy. There's some characters I don't care about, but friends in Hishui, that's a pretty sick one. You got all your friends. You've got the diamond mine. You've got the annoying girl. You've got the girl who I thought was going to be the villain. And you've got me. Wow can't join the military if i wanted to call that a loophole brother pack number three dude this tin's insane you don't want to tell me i'm wrong for calling the GameStop box with no hits cringe get out of here wow friends i love seeing fictional things on my trading cards dark energy so, oh. I don't care about the crown zenith randos but i also don't feel like just whipping out the ones from the back oh pog oh my god pog bro <laughs> every pack's it <laughs> dude that kyogre was a good sign holy suicune v gamer gallery On my way to your house to drop a random loaded pack on your doorstep and leave. No fillers, only poggers. Thank you, Mako, for dropping the pogger packs. Gamer Gallery, Suicune V. I, I want to be clear to this day, I still don't know what the GG stands for. I could look it up. That's not funny, though. It's definitely something gallery. Because in the previous sets, they were called trainer galleries. But I, maybe it's Gal Galarian Gallery, but that doesn't make sense to me. What does what stand for? So in the corner of the fancy arts that re replace your reverse hollows, where it says what number in the set they are, it has you. There's no way you're gonna be able to read this. But by the numbers, it says GG, and that's to emphasize that it's a it's a, a special art card that's separate from the regular set so in in stuff like shining phantoms yes yeah, it's gg it's uh in for for uh god what's it called hidden fates and like shining legends they were the the shiny vault cards so they said like sv or something uh i think another set that happened recently did the shiny vault thing in uh, uh previous sword and shield sets they would have the trainers with their pokemon alt arts that replace the reverse hollows those were tgs those were trainer galleries i don't know what these are they it could be galarian gallery but that sounds stupid because the trainer galleries had galarian pokemon and these obviously don't have galarian pokemon or they're not all galarian pokemon that was 
So it's like, I don't know what the G is. And I could look it up, but I think it's funnier to just call it the Gamer Gallery because I pog when I see it. Anyway. Pokemon Catcher. I Pinch Urchin and Buy Shark that I missed. We got Yanma. We got Clay Ponyard. I feel like I have 800 of those guys. Dude, it's Shinx trying to ring Manga. Mr. Mime. Oh my! Every pack, so a double? You get out of here, Nessa. What is this Nessa art? Hold up. Oh, she's wearing a hat. I thought Nessa had an afro in it. I thought she looked like Wooloo. I was like, what is this, Nessa? Anyway, another insane gamer gallery. The, 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 uh, the Galarian Zapdos tin is actually one of the most insane things I've ever opened in my life. Is the God tin. I just accidentally put this inside of a, a Beelzemon sleeve. So the card actually looked good for a second. That's my mistake. I won't make that mistake again. Let me go ahead and put it in the crappy official Pokemon sleeves where it's hard to get the card in and it makes the card look faded. There we go. Doesn't that look so much better than accidentally slipping it into a Digimon sleeve? Wow. Anyway. I'm criticizing it. I know it's because the Pokemon card sleeves are matte because they're meant for you to be playing with. But the Digimon sleeves, you can also play with and they work fine. So it's actually not a good excuse. Final pack for Galarian Zabdos, who has not had a single dead pack in the entire tin. Um, this will be a dead pack. I'm calling it now. I'm prepared for the inevitable and I'm okay with it. Oh, the cursed V-Star. I can't take a big bite out of it because I don't have, you know, the webcam on. That would just be pointless. I'm not, I'm not getting the, the adrenaline from chat for eating cardboard. Not that I ever actually ate it. You gotta be pooping and pissing me, bro. There's not a single whiff? Dude, Radiant Eternatus? That's bonkers. I wish I had the, the webcam on. <laughs> well, I mean, I wish it, the webcam worked, to be clear, because I did try to get it set up, but... Dude, Galarian Eternatus is at, what an insane tin. Wow, this sleeve like ruins this card. That's beautiful. That's actually insane. From this box alone, from this tin alone, you get the you got the promo Zapdos, you got Kyogre V, you got Gamer Gallery Kelio, you got Gamer Gallery Suicune. You got Friends in Hisui, Full Art, and you got Radiant Eternatus. Is actually the most cracked tin I've ever seen in my life. Unreal. Anyway. I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, Alright, Mako, Frosty chose the last tin. You get to choose this one. Let's see if you can beat Frosty's tin. Do you want Galarian Mlomtress or do you want Galarian Mlartituno? You want number one or number three? Number three, number one. Blue one. All right. That's actually purple, but my webcam is not the best. So we're going to go Galarian Articuno. If Mago does better, I will play Radical Red Hardcore until he beats it. I'm colorblind and not really. Red Stinky. Red is actually my favorite color. Galarian Articuno. Listen, I'll say this now. I'll jinx Mako's box. Galarian Articuno is my least favorite of the Galarian birds. This is too many tins. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these tins. I actually don't have space for them. Really, Articuno? A <laughs> chat is not happy about me saying Galarian Articuno is my least favorite of the Galarian birds. I don't know why that's surprising to them. Bro's a big ostrich fan. I mean, he's my favorite of the three. I just, I, I feel nothing looking at Galarian Articuno. Galarian Moltres is like, at least I think he looks nice. I don't think he's creative at all. Like, Galarian Zapdos is my favorite just because he's different than the others. 
He's like, they actually changed him. Glary Moltres, I think, just looks nice. And Glary Articunos, he's just kind of there. I mean, this is a beautiful, like, card. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the artwork's bad. What do you mean, Articuno? Bro, it's just a bird, bro. That's just a bird. They just made him psychic type. They just changed his typing. Now, admittedly, I don't... Moltres might still be fire type. So, I may, like... Moltres is probably objectively the worst. I'll, I'll concede to that. But that doesn't mean I have to like him less than Articuno. But I, I can concede that Moltres is, like, objectively the worst in terms of redesign. Okay, we're good. <laughs> all right, cool. Like, I think they're all kind of bad, but I at least respect Zabdos. You said objective. We're all good here. Yes, correct. I did. I intentionally said objective, too. All right, let's see if Mako hits a stinky pack immediately. Let's see if he immediately has an uphill battle to climb. I don't know what they were cooking with Moltres. Dude, I guess the bird himself. All right, immediate L pack for Mako. That's all right. He can recover because it is possible to get double hits. If we're talking sheer number of hits, he can still make it up. But, you know, quality of hits matters too. Load, I loaded these. Yeah, you loaded them all in like the last pack, I guess. He can, he can hit like some crazy bonker stuff to make it up. Sorry, boys. Hardcore Rattle Grid's off the table, it looks like. It's getting... Oh, look. Here's regular friends in Sinnoh. No alt heart. All right, we're, we're approaching. Let's see. Let's see. We got we got a gamer gallery coming. No gamer gallery. Another F. Another L. Cringo. Three packs left. Objectively speaking, with, with two double hits, you can tie. With three double hits, you can still win. You And that's off sheer number alone. You can win off of quality still. You can always win off of quality. It'll be really hard with a... Where's Fat Pikachu or Fluffy Pikachu? Fat Pikachu actually got his own box for Black Friday with the Crown Z in the set. If I get the chance to grab it, I will. Rescue Carrier. Let's see. You gotta, you gotta start trying to turn things around here. Will my least favorite of the birds also be the worst tin? Okay, Gamer Gallery Duskull. This is really nice. I actually, this is like a really nice... That's... This is not part of the card. This is my glare going through his eye, but that's like a beautiful glare going into his eye. He is sansing. He's sansing up. Hold up. There, there, there he's sand. We can get sans. We can get a sans screenshot. Hold up. There we go. There's this. There's your sans screenshot. I got the blue there. Okay, Gamer Gallery Duskull is pretty good. Sans Duskull Sans. Okay, Duskull Sands is pretty good. I can't go, I can't do the the Sands when he's in the sleeve because the sleeve ruins all fun. But Duskull Sands is pretty good. Um, that's a that's a really good gamer gallery. However, it's not good enough to overcome the sheer number of hits the other pa the other ten got. But I think I I could count that as two. If you if you manage to get some double hits here, I think you can still do it. I think even a single double hit could still turn it around for you. Because that dust, I really like that dust skull gamer gallery. Okay, with the metal energy, regular. That's not regular. That's shaman sky form. Hit me with a carnivine gamer gallery. That's gonna be worth three pulls. I don't even know if that card exists. That's why it's worth so much. Okay, all right. The radiant Eternatuses have canceled each other out. They've they've vaporized each other, and then nothing in the back. Two Radiant Eternatuses. I would, I would say Gamer Gallery Duskull is worth one Gamer Gallery plus the Kyogre V. So it's like a 3-3 three to three right now. We believe in quantity over quality here. Rigged Mako stacked it. Final pack. He needs to beat... A second gamer gallery and a full art trainer card so you will either need to get a double hit or an insane cracked pack in order to uh win this one mako not this way all right let's see will he hit something here final pack 
Coughing. All right, I think next one's gonna be it. Okay, no, actually, it's gonna be the next one. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> Holy! Deoxys V Star Gamer Gallery. <laughs> okay, okay. That's cracked, bro. That's insane. That's a tough one. That's a tough comparison. Can't believe this shit. This is gonna come down to financial domination, okay? The radi so the radiant eternatuses cancel each other out. What is the Duskull Gamer Gallery worth? Let's see. Let's see who wins in the in the in the market of free ideas. Okay, Duskall Gamer Gallery is worthless. So that's gonna be a big a big plus to Frosty still pulling ahead here. Okay, Suicune Gamer Gallery is fourteen dollars. It's looking like Frosty still <laughs> wins. The Deoxys is gonna have to be really good. <laughs> <laughs> the the Deox is gonna have to be like a really expensive card. Keldeo's a dollar. If if this is worth twenty or more dollars, I give Mako the win. Oh no, I didn't look at friends in Hisui. I forgot about that. Hold up, friends in Hisui full art. Frosty got that too. Alright, that's a five dollar card. This is, so at $20, this ties. At $25, this wins. Deoxys V-Star. Because I am, I am a big, big Deoxys fan. This is speed form, too. Okay. It's an $8 card. A respectable attempt, Mako. Both of these tins were incredible. Frosty does inch out with the victory though, but both another great tin. It was a little, it was it was light at the start, but it turned it around. Really, only four hits, but that's well, okay, three hits because this is a promo, but three hits in the back, and I enjoy all of them. That's you know that's all good. I'm happy with all of these a lot. No playthrough only. I might as well, since I'm looking at it, I might as well see what the... Because I actually will probably sell or trade the Radiant Eternatus. I guess I should see what it's worth. Since you both got it. Radiant Eternatus is a 25 cent card. Pain! Suffering, perhaps! That's okay. I'm glad I got one. It sucks getting a second one that's worthless. Alright, now it's time for me. I've, I've been stuck with the cooked chicken. What type did they even make this? I like can't see on the card what type it is. Isn't it still a fire type? It might be dark. We do have the last box. Yeah, this one represents me. Oh, should it represent me or Dunks? Who do you think has the better luck? Randomized hardcore if Trey does better. Is it my box or is it Dunker box? Dunks? If it's Dunker box, I'll go have him give it a good luck smooch. Right now. It's a dark flying. Okay, that makes sense at least. Is Dunks gonna am I gonna have Dunks go smooch this tin for good luck? No rig stacking. I'm going in. I'm going for the dunk smooch. You're gonna hear me crinkle all my trash like Dave Meltzer. Hello, Dunker. I'm sorry I don't have the mic for this. Will you give this Moltres tin a good luck smooch? One, one kiss, please. He sniffed it. Tap, tap. Do you like it? Oh, thank you. He gave it two licks. Two smooches from Dunks. He wasn't sure what it was at first. He sniffed it and then looked away. And then I like I tapped it a few times with my finger like this. And he licked my finger and then I tapped it again. And so he, he gave it two little smooches right there. No, <laughs> Pog. Thank you, Dunks. Oh, he's smiling in the back. He's looking happy. All right, you're going to get some good pulls. I know it. Yeah, you, oh, he's smiling. He's ready. 
He's a happy boy. As a good fellow back there. I'm sorry I can't turn Dunk's cam on. But, you know, Streamlabs. Uh... Alright. Oh yeah, it, the card is a dark type. Is there any interest, by the way, in me doing streams of playing the Pokemon Online TCG? Because I do be sitting on a lot of code cards. Normally I save up like 100 and sell them for like... 10 to 15 bucks on ebay but it's like a lot of effort if people have interest in me playing the online game i can and use the the code cards for that here's the galarian moltres promo we love him either way yeah of course no i buy packs all the time that are stinky and bad uh, i can blame you guys if your tins have been bad because it's funny i would never blame dunks for a bad tin we then we twist the narrative and we say dunks licked it to try and ward off the evil because he could tell how bad it was so dunks dunks gets a dub either way I say yes, but I can't say how much. I'd be into it. Really a real test. That's fine. We could always just, like, dump these code cards into it and see what see how it goes. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if Dunker... Who, who, who wins and who loses? I have not even been, like, mind-weighing any of these packs. I just pick them up in the order they come in. Dunks has moved a little closer. You got a drink of water. He's moved a little closer so he can... He can get a better view of what pulls he gets. Let's see who's getting last. Will Dunker start strong? I was about to say like Frosty, but Frosty, it was less of starting strong. Really, Frosty's first one was his worst pull, but he kept going the whole way. I don't know, I'm just here for the dopamine rush of seeing someone else gamble. Well, you can do that virtually too. I'm here to see bad life choices that aren't my own, Mako said. Yes, correct. Dude, absolutely. That's why the, the Digimon thing I'm setting up where I open three of every box is going to be Pog. Because I'm going to be filled with despair. All right, Dunker. First pack. Here we go. First pack, Dunky. First pack, Dunky. First pack, Dunky Magic. He's already negated Mako's best card. He just parried Nako, Mako's... I called him Nako. He just, he just hard parried Mako's best pull. He just hit the Marth down B and obliterated Mako. Just wiped him clean off the pad off the... <laughs> Nako. He just he just beat you so hard you cha like the first he knocked the first letter of your name down a peg and turned you into Nako. That's how hard this this parry was. Dunks now has to get literally like no pulls in order to lose to Mako. <laughs> I guess you did still get Radiant Eternatus, but now we know Radiant Eternatus is like well your Radiant Eternatus already got countered by a Frosty, so it's like it's like worthless now. Not this way, I'm just funneling it to dunks. Alright. Pack number two. He's about to hit he's about to pull the Oh no. That's either good or bad, depending on how we feel about it. I think this led to something insane Frosty had. I don't remember what it was, though. He's about to pull Friends and Hisui and counter Frosty's pool as well. Almost at his best pool. Actually, the Suicune is Frosty's best pool. From a strictly financial standpoint. That's a nice Lulu art. Alright, here we go. Pack number. Here we go. Alright, Reverse Holo Rescue Carrier. It's at least the cutest Reverse Holo. Alright, that's a, that's, a, that's a very pretty Absol. But, you know... Not something that interests me too much. I guess I should put, like, the regular hollow aside. In case it's ever, you know, valuable someday in ten years. Alright. Pack number three. Dunks is standing tall so far. He's, lo he's looking strong. He's licking his feet. Getting clean. He's, he's making sure he looks dapper for the award ceremony where he's going to win the award for best crown zenith tin as he pulls reverse hollow coughing and Lipard. Okay. Okay. Two packs left. It's actually not looking great for Dunks, but you know what? It wasn't looking great for me Mako either come his last three packs. So Dunks can absolutely pivot this here. Dunks can pull exactly what he needs to to turn this around. We got the 
of grass energy. We got some shoes. He pulled the shoes. He's he got he's gonna be trekking into this great gamer gallery pool that's coming up right now. Right now. It's the Ultra Ball. Oh wait! Oh my god. Wait, actually I think he just won. Hold up, hold up. I think this is like I don't know if it still is. I think this was like a forty dollar card. <laughs> I think Dunks just hit the Biden blast. He hit, the, he hit the Pikachu card with, like, 80 different Pokemon on it. He just broke the final Smash orb. <laughs> quick check. Quick check. This is a beautiful card. I think I have this card. Pikachu Crown Zenith. I actually think I pulled this before already. Okay, it's a $7 card. So this is a really, really good card. This is not a gamer gallery. This is just a full an alt art. This is a really nice card. Um I would say this is probably worth the Radiant Eternatus, the Kyogre V. It's really worth everything Frosty pulled aside from the Suicune. I think this. No, you know what? This is the this is equivalent to Frosty's friends in Hisui. Actually, this is like literally the exact equivalent of that. I think if he gets a good gamer gallery here, Dunks wins. I think he's definitely beaten Mako. If he gets nothing here, I think he might tie with Mako actually. Because financially he did pretty good, but he didn't really get me a lot. So this is this isn't gonna come down to the wire here. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This should be it. Here we go. Moment of truth. Never mind. I'm, I miscounted. Moment of truth. I'm pogging. I, I don't have the webcam on. I just did an actual pog champ. But wait. There could be more. There's not, though. Shout out to Enamorous. Always forget that bitch exists. Gamer Gallery Toxtricity. No pog champ IRL. Dude, me and the boys when we get you. You, you walk in the club and they look at you like this. Will you do it? Oh, yeah, Dunks. Dunks just went and got on top of my pillow and on top of his little new blankie that Kimmy got him. He's feeling good. Kiss them. All right. That's definitely, definitely beat Mako. I think, I think. Mm, I, gotta, I gotta think here. I think at $10. This ties Frosty. I think at $8, this ties Frosty. At $12, it beats Frosty. I do think this is going to be worth like 50 cents. And Frosty is going to win by a hair. Is what I'm expecting. I forget there's a Toxtricity VMAX. Where's the gamer gallery? Okay, it's a 30 cent card. Frosty, congratulations. You have won. My favorite of the three Galarian birds has won. But you know what? Every 10 was pretty good. I, actually, I think every 10 was really good because I think Crown Zenith is a good set. And you can you can boo my cringes all you want. Um, That GameStop box was very bad. This is actually, you know, out of the context of... I was, like, kind of a downer because I think I have both of these cards. These are two insane pulls. Like, this might... Like, I think speaking strictly financially, the Suicune still clears both of them. But, like, if I hadn't pulled this in the first, in the second 10, in Mako's 10, uh, this would probably be the pack, I, the 10 I was most excited to get. But, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles. Frosty wins with like a 10 out of 10. 
Dunks gets second with like a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, and Mako, I'd say you were sitting at a, at a solid 8 out of 10. I think you were you were looking pretty decent. Oh, we're actually not done, by the way. I have another box. It's not a 10, though. We, I have a Zapdos EX collection from Scarlet and Violet 151. Uh, yeah, you know what, Mako? You're right. I will bump you up to a 6.9 out of 10. I, did not, I have not opened any 151 on camera. Uh, a buddy of mine who I used to open Pokemon cards with all the time when I was buying booster boxes and stuff. Uh, bought a, like, he went hard on 151, and he wanted to hang out and open cards, and I was like, yeah, you know what, I got money at this time, so I bought a bunch of 151 product and opened it. 151's a cool set, I'm not a big Kanto guy, so, I was like, these are fine, but so, the artwork's really good, if you can get one of the fancy arts, like, this is another special set, like Crown Zenith, by the way, if you're unaware. Bump me up, but it goes down from 8, yeah, but you want to be 6.9 more, so it's a bump up, that's the joke. Um, Kimmy was literally asking me, like, about, like, oh, what's your favorite Pokemon for the fir from the first two generations? And I was like, okay, Snorlax, and then I listed, like, a bunch of Gen 2 Pokemon, because I don't really care for Gen 1 that much. There's a few good Gen 1s, though. I like Lickitung, I like Pinsir, Heracross is Gen 2. Alright. Uh, you got an Electabuzz promo here. It's fine. It's whatever. And then we got the the card that actually matters, the Zapdos EX. This, I, there's, is, I don't know if they're going to release one. There are not currently Moltres and Articuno EX boxes. I didn't even, by the way, I did not plan for the fact that this is one of the birds. Oh my god, I super didn't plan because the Zap, as far as I know, the Zapdos one is the only one that exists, especially right now. This is, the, this is who won the 10! Regular Galarian Zapdos won the tin contest, and now we're opening the Zapdos EX dude uh, box. Guys, I think I think wrestling might not be real. Anyway, here's the Zapdos EX promo we got with this. Now I had some pretty decent luck. Oh yeah, and this is Jumbo Zapdos EX card. I had some pretty decent luck opening my 151 stuff. I didn't get anything insane, but I got some fun looking cards. Um, I would not expect that to keep up here. I don't think the set is as good as Crown Zenith, core rate wise. But we could still, you know, we could still get some fun stuff. We're just gonna keep opening them as usual. We're not gonna bother doing the funny ways. These are the this is the last thing I have to open, by the way. So we're going in. Um, I don't know if there's a card trick to this, so we're gonna just not do one. I think it's just an energy in the back, but the energies in this set can be special too. All right, so Dome Fossil. This is all Kanto, by the way. Also, Silver Border. Silver Border, because Scarlet Violet era. The Grabber? Oh, my. The Grabber? Okay, Reverse Hollow Ponyta. You do get two Reverse Hollows, I believe. Or you get two rares. I don't remember. So this is this is where we might start getting some, some funky stuff, possibly. Okay, it's two Reverse Hollows, because Ponyta Meowth. So no no funky gallery. Then you get a holographic Kabu tops. And then I got a regular dark energy. Okay. Noted. So that's an L pack. Uh, I think all of the rares in this set are hollow. I think it's one of those sets. So two reverse hollows. And how many cards are in each pack? So I can count down. Ten. Okay. I have no idea. If the energy counts towards that, we're going to count it, though. I will put the energy in front and then flip it over in case it's a special energy. Okay, we got a regular energy this time. It's electric. It's this card one. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now we're in reverse hollow territory. I think the first one is always a regular reverse hollow. It could be a second. I don't know how to count. I guess the energy doesn't count. Okay, energy doesn't count. So that's our regular reverse hollow. This could be something special behind it. Okay, it is funny that it just evolved into Golbat right before our very eyes. Um, and then Gyarados hollow. All right, not looking great. Not looking great for Zapdos 151 box. Eh. But that's A-OK, -okay, you know? I'm not, I would like to get at least one thing from this, but it's not like the end of the world if we don't. It's just really, it's just really disappointing and a waste of money. We did get 
a holographic fighting energy. These are very pretty. I do really like these special hollow energies. They don't have the, the Master Ball stamps that the original set of 151 had in Japan, but it's whatever. America can't really have nice things. Three, four, five, six. This should be reverse hollow coming up. Yes, sir. All right, let's 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 see. Okay, it's just Metapod, and it's not looking good, gamers. It's not looking good, gamers. We had to ride the highest highs and then hit the lowest lows right at the end. It would be Pog to end on literally anything, though. <laughs> I don't fully blame 151, by the way. I think all of, like, Scarlet and Violet sets kind of have, like, the worst pull rates imaginable. All right, final pack, regular electric energy. Here we go. Final pack of the whole stream. I, by the way, for, for what it's worth, we're going to do some slander here. The three tins were from Game Nerds. The Digimon boxes and the Zapdos box were from Walmart. So, a little bit of slander there. Uh, Spiro, Rhyhorn, Magikarp. I did not keep track. It's okay. The first reverse hollow is normally just a reverse hollow. So, big air balloon so we can go sky high to all the pogs. Here, here we go. Let's get, let's get pumped. Dunks is chewing. We're going to pump. We're going to pump. We're going to end it off strong here. We're going to end it off strong. Funny slow, bro. We're going to end it off strong. We're not ending it off strong. We got nothing. <laughs> how def how absolutely deflating. That's all right. The tins were incredible. 151 is is just a deflate. We, we pumped it and it just deflated on us. That's okay. Hey, man. We got a lot. We walked out of here with a lot of fun funky stuff. Um, I had fun. This was a fun time opening the stuff. Uh, thanks for coming. There's a very we're gonna we're gonna a little sad here. This may not mean as much to the people watching this on YouTube, uh, because they probably don't watch the actual streams as much. Um, this is probably gonna be the last time you guys see Jerry. Because once I pivot to OBS Studio, Jerry's gone. Jerry is exclusive to Streamlabs. I'm trying. I can't get him to show up. <laughs> oh hello there. Jerry, are you over You're here? being naughty, aren't Jerry, you? Are you on this one? Who's Jerry? There he is. There's Jerry the Snowman. It's actually spelled with an A. Oh look, there's some old bits that dropped on him. He's got his bit hat on. Oh shoot! I just moved something. What? <laughs> Why? Was it really loud or something? Jerry's doing his Christmas goodbyes. He'll, he hopes to see you all again someday. As Christmas approaches here in Texas, he will melt from the heat. Mako spoke right into my ear. Oh, <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, see you.